Tess. Standing here, lying here, I recall how you too stood finally, lay finally, in full knowledge of the fact that your short life was overshadowed by the bullock of a monument which had seen the impending rise of a rootless age imbued with darkness. You were near the end point of such a time and one man stood alone and suffered for it to tell of your fate and those of your mould who fell victim to the rules which consistently bent and snaked towards their goals but always bore the same putrid colour running through them the colour of hate. The sarsens hemmed you in, there was no escape, so you gave yourself up, stretching out still, with your lifeblood, your life force, ebbing inevitably back to its source. And here am I, lying too on a stone, but now I stand high up and free, looking out onto a whole new world. The blue stones, so much smaller and unhewed in that inner circle, and now here in their untamed majesty, applaud the advent of this new age. Seven men knew and understood this time would come, and made this moment possible. And I celebrate, heart and lungs, and eyes and ears, with my voice reaching out into the future, and my body firmly earthed on its blue home.